15 years ago first for the United States and then I'm living in London at the moment. And although I'm not directly con connected to the academy, but um, uh, I've been always in touch with uh, diplomatic corps when I was studying and I was always performing at the embassies at the events representing my country. And recently I've completed a PhD at SOAS, University of London, <coughs> in cultural diplomacy, where I'm talking about the Azerbaijani cultural diplomacy is being integrated into the European <coughs> and world uh, arts and diplomacy. And today, it's, I mean, it's always nice to come back to Baku. I was here on different occasions and I'm very happy to be reconnected with Shafag and being invited <coughs> to be here and see all of you and see the wonderful campus. I would like to play a couple of pieces for you today. And um, the first one is uh, called Reflections. It's a piece that I wrote a few years back, back in New York. And when I moved from Azerbaijan, I was always playing classical music. My background is classical and very academic. And I was asked once to play a piece of my country, from my country. And uh, I thought I would come up with something on my own. So I've composed this piece, which uh, integrates some classical but also traditional Azerbaijani tune that you will recognize. And I thought it would be um, nice and appropriate to play it on this occasion.
Thank you very much. And another piece I want to play, it's um, actually connected to what I do and something to to do with my background also, and uh, with probably was <coughs> what Diplomatic Academy tries to achieve, integration of Azerbaijan into the European, into Europe or into the world stage. And uh, the music as well, you know, can talk a lot about it. This piece is based on uh, two motifs, one from a very famous piece by Bach called Takata D minor, and the second one, uh, very familiar to all probably as area and maybe to some foreigners already, based on the Azerbaijani Mugam by Ete Shiraz. And I'm trying to combine both of those in one piece. And coming back to the event, I just wanted to mention that uh, I was growing up also, and, and I remember very well uh, early 90s, and I remember also the 90s, uh, 1990, when this tragic event happened. Uh, we were at home, but all this, um, all this uh, feeling of uh, unification, of you know, struggle for the independence, were just starting up. People were very excited, although <coughs> uh, they couldn't express themselves quite openly yet. But you could feel this. We were kids, but we could still feel this, um, this you know, this this air, this air of independence coming and these things happening and uh, there were a lot of demonstrations obviously you know probably most of you were maybe not even born or maybe were too little to remember that but I remember on the main square uh, in Baku there were millions of people um, you know being there seeing being seen and there were also some hunger strikes going on and I remember as kids we would bring them some food and bring them some blankets and they were there for I think I don't know 10 or two weeks 10 days to two weeks and uh, ended up obviously in the unfortunately in the bloodshed but I think that was the real start of struggle of, of Azerbaijan for independence again um, anyway so it's uh, my second and last piece and um, it's called uh, Bach Bayati.
is not your last visit to Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy. Savina Rakhcheva has her own webpage. She's on Facebook. Uh, do you have a Twitter account? Not yet, but you can pull her up and uh, follow the developments from her uh, music and her career. Thank you so much for being here today.